We all know it's essential that our vital bodily organs function normally in order for us to remain healthy. Well, I'm here today to talk to you about a vital organ that does not get enough recognition and it's underappreciated. Skeletal muscle is essential for maintaining our body temperature, balancing our energy levels and giving us the strength to move. However, my understanding and appreciation of the importance of maintaining skeletal muscle health really hit home when I had to care for a loved one who began to suffer from loss of muscle mass. Imagine suddenly finding it difficult to perform everyday tasks. Imagine not long after not being able to get yourself out of a chair. Imagine being so incapacitated that you struggle to chew and swallow food. What I have just described are only some of the boundaries that people face every day with degenerative muscle diseases. Loss of muscle mass and function can occur as a consequence of age and chronic conditions, including myopathies, type 2 diabetes, and even cancer. Loss of muscle mass is continuous and inevitably reduces quality of life and can lead to premature death. Today, as many as one in four Australians suffer from a musculoskeletal condition. Therefore, in order to find a treatment, research is required to help us understand the normal mechanisms that control skeletal muscle growth and maturation and what goes wrong. Scientists have discovered a gene called NDRG2. Research has shown that without NDRG2, skeletal muscle cells cannot grow and mature normally. My research so far has shown that by increasing the amount of NDRG2, significantly increases the growth and maturation rate of skeletal muscle cells. The overall aim of my PhD is to help understand how NDRG2 promotes skeletal muscle growth and whether it improves muscle function, including energy production. Ultimately, my PhD findings could help determine whether NDRG2 can be used as an early detection measure and whether in future NDRG2 can be used as a potential therapeutic target to help alleviate the loss of skeletal muscle mass and function in patients suffering from degenerative muscle conditions. Thank you. Thank you.